Hello and welcome to an India Today special broadcast that comes to you from the road that leads to Mariupol to Kiev. There is palpable tension in the air on this axis. There are multiple military convoys that are heading towards Mariupol. The situation extremely grim, not just at Mariupol, but also in Dnipro where we are headed and at multiple locations en route. You see the citizens militia that has been deployed. This in a way is a fight between unequals. When we see this fight between unequals, it is the fight between a very powerful Russia and militarily a much weaker Ukraine. But it's the Ukrainian president, Zelensky, who has successfully rallied his country to fight against all odds. We bring you our top story as we drive through a very precarious route where, are, where there are multiple barriers, military barricades and tension perhaps at every turn. Ukraine, a country under siege, much smaller than the invading force. Ukraine is showing remarkable resilience in the face of a catastrophic attack on its nationality. And it's showing from the very bottom. This Ukrainian man is locked in a dramatic face-off with a convoy of heavily armed Russian military vehicles. Mesmerizing images of the tank man standing his ground in the face of an extreme threat to his life. An image, as you can imagine, that has gone immediately and massively viral. Invoking immortal images of the 1989 Chinese Tiananmen Square face-off when a lone civilian stared down a column of tanks during violent suppression of pro-democracy protests. The invasion of Kyiv, Ukraine's capital, by a powerful, nuclear-armed and expansionist neighbor. Ukraine facing Armageddon, outgunned, outmanned, but far from outmaneuvered. Ukrainian MP Kira Rudik is herself picking up an automatic weapon, arming herself and pledging to fight for her motherland till the very end. This is the first time I ever picked any weapon. What did you do with the weapon? Are you training to use that weapon right now? You've put out this picture which has inspired a lot of people. What did you do with the weapon? Are you training how to use it now? Yes, I'm training along with my uh, troop. Uh, we are training uh, to be able to use it and to protect ourselves against Russian soldiers. Russians didn't capture a single major city in Ukraine. Another member of parliament from Ukraine told India today that her aging father in his 70s is also picking up a rifle. Split Creek has failed. Just an hour ago, I talked to my dad and he's uh, getting ready to join the territorial defense. So, so people are standing in line to join unlike Russians uh, who are just trying to get out of this. So this is a very different situation for the Ukrainian and Russian army. Audio of a dramatic standoff between Ukrainian forces on a last stand guarding the Snake Island and Russian troops has also emerged as a tale of last stand bravery. Replying to the Russian warship which tells them to surrender, the defiant and brave Ukrainians are heard saying, go yourself. Even ordinary citizens are arming themselves to take on the invading force. As air raid sirens ring through the skies, Ukrainians are calm and queuing up at military recruitment centers. Led by their resilient president, who refuses to abandon the capital, Kyiv, Ukraine claims it has killed over 1,000 Russian soldiers and downed numerous Russian jets and choppers. The fog of war means none of these claims can yet be corroborated. It's an unequal fight between a David and a Goliath. But Ukraine is ready for its last stand against a military behemoth. And these images of heroism, grit, patriotism and pride are lasting testimony. With Gaurav Savant in Ukraine, 
Bureau Report, India Today. A former heavyweight boxing champion and his brother have joined the people's resistance against the Russian army. And this isn't just restricted just to one or two such instances. You have a woman member of parliament who's picked up the AK-47 saying, I will fight till my last breath to protect Ukraine from the Russians. And this is where the nature of this warfare has changed completely. This is now not some war being fought in the distant borders. It's now being fought in the cities, in local squares, on highways and roadblocks in the town square. So this is now a people's spy fight where the people of this country have picked up arms to defend their country against the invading Russian army, as they put it. Superstars, global sporting icons, immensely famous and with millions of doting fans worldwide. They once donned boxing gloves to bring laurels to their country and to the world. Now former heavyweight boxing champion Vitaly Klitschko and his equally famous brother are taking up arms to defend their native motherland, Ukraine. I'm calling to all the international partners to observe this strategy that is happening nowadays in Ukraine and this senseless war which is not going to have any winners but losers. Amidst all-out war on their nation unleashed by mighty Russia, the champion boxer and his brother and fellow Hall of Famer Vladimir Klitschko are ready. But mentally. It frustrates you. Vitaly Klitschko has been the mayor of Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, since 2014, and he now says he's ready to fight. Describing working with police and military to support critical infrastructure and keeping essential supplies like gas, electricity, and water running. Друзі, дорогі кияни, ніч була складною, але російських військ в столиці немає. Ворог намагається прорватись місто, зокрема зі сторони Гостоміля, Житомира. Там агресори знешкоджені. His brother, former heavyweight champion Vladimir Klitschko, enlisted in Ukraine's reserve army earlier this month, saying that his love for his country compelled him to defend it. We must stay united against this aggression, against Russian aggression. Don't let it happen, continue happening in Ukraine. Don't let it happening in Europe and eventually in the world. United, we're strong. Support Ukraine. The immensely famous brothers are among countless Ukrainian civilians responding to the call of their motherland to protect, save and battle for honor and freedom. Bureau Report, India Today. This highway from Mariupol to Kiev, of course, Dnipro uh, initially looks like a battle zone. It looks like a war zone. There are burnt armored personal carriers and trucks and military vehicles en route. Of course, major checkpoints, barricades uh, and scenes that must have seen uh, some kind of a fierce engagement uh, between uh, either the Russian army or the Ukrainian army or militia. Uh, but as we were driving out of uh, Mariupol and it was very essential to leave Mariupol since curfew and martial law are in place and there, there is likely to be a major offensive. They've asked people to move out. Our vehicle came under fire. Multiple shots were fired at our vehicle and my colleagues Rajesh Pavar and Pavan Kumar um, and Elena of course traveling with us. We are in her vehicle. Uh, we had a narrow escape but um, we we sped past those, those uh, barricades and now hopefully are out of harm's way, at least for now. So we're currently in Mariupol trying to get to Kiev, but it's extremely difficult. So through a contact, uh, we came across uh, Elena. Uh, Elena is also on her way to Denepro. Uh, her driver didn't show up. So what we're doing is Elena and uh, the India Today team, the camera person Pavan Kumar and I, uh, we are traveling with Elena uh, to Denepro. Hopefully we'll get to Denepro safely. And then from there, we'll find our way to Kiev. There is a broken down APC here on the way. If you see, this is on the way to... And uh, the lady here with us tells us this is a Russian APC which is broken down 
and I think Russians have moved into this area because the checkpoints they were not permitting any car to move, and uh, we are lucky. Just I just say, yeah, we are yeah, Hindus, we are Indians, and somehow he smiled and things were all right. But looks like it will be difficult. There's another car there in front of us. Uh, military vehicle, Russian Toja, at the Russian Toja. Uh, there's another military vehicle. I don't know if it's Russian or uh, Ukrainian, but right now we're trying to escape. A lot of they are firing on us. I think they are firing. They are firing on us now. They, because I tried to show them on the camera. Okay, you need go, to go, 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 go. Don't stop, bro. Don't stop. You need to be very careful. Because Please don't point your camera, camera anywhere, Rajesh. I think. Please take all precautions. <clears throat> I'm driving towards uh, Derepro and uh, with me is uh, Rajesh Pawar, a friend and colleague, uh, also cameraman Pawan Kumar and Elena. And as we drive, there was a military checkpoint. We weren't sure uh, whether that's a Russian, Russian checkpoint or a Ukrainian checkpoint. Uh, but as we slowed down there, there was firing. They fired towards our vehicle and, and, and we are now zipping past. We zipped past that. We've come, come across burnt Russian tanks. Uh, we've come, come across accidented vehicles and that just shows that there is panic um, in this region but as you can make out um, very calmly uh, we are all trying to get out of harm's way. Roads have been blocked uh, in several parts, trees have been cut and kept on the roads in an effort to block the advancing uh, Russian forces. There is tremendous tension in this area as you can see people are trying to flee. Uh, we are currently driving towards Denepro. This is a left-hand drive vehicle, this is a left-hand drive country and uh, we are just uh, trying to go as quickly as we can out of harm's way. Yeah. The Mariupol airfield was bombed so the airport cannot be used. The train, well, we show you in this report how the India Today team was stranded for over 13 hours inside the train late at night as shelling intensified around Mariupol and even today the train did not leave. Now the only way to exit Mariupol was to drive but nobody, no taxi driver is willing to venture out in this extremely troubled land. Uh, it was just uh, Elena wanted to go to Denepro and we came across Elena through a, a common friend. So uh, we offered to drive her uh, and of course ourselves out of harm's way. Take a look at the ordeal that India Today team underwent for over 13 hours locked up in a train with hundreds of other Ukrainians who wanted to flee, who wanted to get out of Mariupol before that massive offensive began. There is tension in the air. We are on board a train that's going from Mariupol to Kiev, but we've been stranded at the railway station for several hours and we do not know when this train will move, but we can hear some music uh, on board this train and we are moving in the direction of this train. And we see this young man and this young woman uh, playing a guitar, uh, listening to some music and singing. Let's enjoy. That's really very nice. Thank you. Thank What's you. your name? Darina. Daria. Daria, yeah. what do you do? Are you a student? Are you a singer? What do you do? A singer. You're a singer? Yeah. Brilliant. And what's your name, young man? Uh, uh, Pavel. <laughs> Pasha. 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 Your name is Pasha. Pasha, so um, are, you, are you a guitarist? Uh, what do you do? Are you a student? Guitarist. Mm, no. Guitarist and student. Guitarist and student. <laughs> Guitarist and student. And what song are the two of you singing? Uh, <laughs> what song? This is This uh, now. Yeah. Yeah. This and name. That's the name. This and now. Da. And this and now, right now, in Mariupol, outside the shelling happening. Boom, boom, boom. Are you scared? The strange. This is very strange. 
this is very strange yeah so are you are you kind of um, getting away from this are you going to kiev are you going to stay in kiev or you want to just leave and go somewhere in kiev uh, and uh, next stand in poland you want to go to poland maybe and are you from mariupol yeah yeah uh it's from in mariupol all right so you stay in mariupol you're going to kiev and from kiev you want to go to poland yeah. will you come back or you want to just leave just leave just leave forever in, maybe or for a long time forever maybe <laughs> in in the entire train there are people who are here listening to this music only because it just helps reduce the tension there is palpable tension because one there's bombing that's going on outside and two uh, we still do not know whether this train will leave and if it does leave will it actually reach kiev with cameraman pavan kumar on board this ukrainian train from mariupol to kiev Gaurav Savant for India today. What is remarkable in this battle between unequals, a very powerful Russia and a less powerful Ukraine, is the stellar leadership of the Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. There were numerous media reports that seemed to have indicated that he had fled the city with his family, but he came out of the presidential palace with his uh, entourage and on a mobile phone camera. shot images of him being there leading from the front insisting he will fight to the finish and that he and his family had not fled he insisted he was target number 1 for russia his family was target number 2 but for him priority was ukraine and that he would stay on and fight to the last breath and this stellar leadership leading from the front attitude of president zelensky has inspired an entire country to stand up and fight and that is why you see roadblocks at multiple places where the citizens army the citizens militia they have risen with weapons to withstand the onslaught of an extremely powerful russian army take a look at this report As the sun slowly goes down on Ukraine, the message is clear. If it has to, Ukraine will go down fighting. And the man of the moment leading the fight from the front is President Zelensky. Aware that Ukraine may not be able to counter the Russian military might, Zelensky has taken up arms himself to defend his country and people. pledging to not leave the country at mercy of Putin's invading forces while relentless attacks continued zelensky released a video assuring citizens that the ukrainian leadership was all set to defend the nation and not flee всім добрий вечір лідер фракції тут голова офісу президента тут прем'єр-міністр шмигаль тут подаляк тут президент тут Всі ми тут, наші військові тут, громадяни суспільства тут, всі ми тут. Захищаємо нашу незалежність, нашу державу. І так буде і далі. Слава нашим захисникам, слава нашим захисницям. Слава Україні. In another video from the heart of the capital Kyiv, Zelensky said that giving up or laying down weapons will never be an option for Ukraine. India today has been speaking to several Ukrainian MPs and one of them Ina Sobson translated the video message from Zelensky. Всім доброго ранку, українці. Like right now and he is saying that um, I took the notes. Uh, good morning everyone. I know that there is lots of misinformation uh, in the uh, media claiming that I Uh, suggest that uh, we give up that we put down our weapons uh, that is not true do not follow this misinformation i am here we are not giving up our weapons our weapons is our truth we shall be protecting our country we shall be protecting our children because there is no one else who will protect this this was the message from the president zelensky's messages have become bolder with time not mincing his words over us offer of evacuating kiev zelensky said he needed ammunition and not a ride 
While he has picked up weapons himself to defend the country, Zelensky has also been requesting countries to appeal for the attacks to stop, knowing well that he is a marked man for Russian troops. A former TV actor and comedian, Zelensky's approach towards the invasion is that of never say die and that of immense valor. Will the comedian turned president, the man entrusted to uphold Ukraine's honor, have the last laugh? Bureau report, India Today. So as of now, we are zipping down this highway at about um, 130 to 140 kilometers per hour. We don't know if we are getting out of harm's way or heading headlong into more trouble. We will continue to report from ground zero, but that is all camera person Pavan Kumar and I have for you on this special broadcast. Many thanks for watching.